Rick Buecher, colleague of yours and mine in, in, our, in our industry, is saying Durant's a done deal to the Knicks. What do you say on that front? Well, I will say this. I, I think it's, ever, it's hard to say done deal when we're in, what, April. Um, but even if you rolled back to February, January, if you asked around the league at any time this season, the con, I, consensus is too, is too light of a word. The overwhelming opinion of people around the league is, yes, Kevin Durant is leaving the Warriors after the season, and he's going to New York. Now, the NBA grapevine is very active, mm. and, and, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's sometimes right and it's sometimes not. And sometimes you wonder if it's a game of telephone and everyone's just sharing the same tidbits of information. I've never heard it this definitive on a player's future as I have with the idea of Durant to the Knicks. It's everyone you ask, and there is certainty. Now, when I say certainty, I mean that that's what the people, executives and scouts will tell you, but nobody really knows, of course. Even Kevin Durant probably doesn't know. And if you ask folks who were around him during his final year in Oklahoma, he wavered throughout that season and after that season in making his decision to leave there to go to Golden State in the first place. So we're not talking about the most reliable narrator in Kevin Durant, so even if he or people associated with him have indicated that that's what he wants to do, there's a lot of time for that to change. I would agree. I mean, wh why wouldn't he stay put? Why wouldn't he? That's a great question. You know, I, and, I, and the answer every time I say that is, well, legacy. Well, he, he joined a team that had already won a championship and did put it into a different, um, a different stratosphere. But that's just because he's as good as he is and everybody else is as good as they are. He just joined... He joined the team that beat him, yeah. and he needs to create his own spot, his own legacy in his own new town. And I'm like, well, why doesn't he just christen the new beautiful arena that they're going to have in San Francisco? The rest of the team might change. He's still there. He's the one who's won this, the MVPs of the NBA Finals. Why can't his legacy just be what he's done, continued on? It's funny, if you go back through NBA history and you talk about all-time greats and the championships they won, whether it was the 11 rings that the Celtics won back in, in the 60s or you know the Lakers Showtime teams of the 80s, the Bulls in the 90s, any of them, you never talk about how those players got there, um, what their decisions were in the course of their... You just know that they have rings. You just know when you flip through the, the annals or you, you're scrolling on Twitter, right. oh yeah, that guy's got four rings, five rings, he's in the Hall of Fame... The details don't matter. The details fade away. So if Durant is, is, is so concerned with legacy and how he's going to per be perceived in relation to that Warriors dynasty, that's silly, really. If, if the idea is to win at the highest level as much as you can yes. in the years that you have available to you, grab as many rings as you can. Damn straight. There's he, no reason he should, should leave. And None. I mean, last night in the game uh, in Los Angeles, I don't know if you saw the, the, the highlight uh, from last night, Chris. I saw him talking to LeBron. I mean, well... And, and, and I, you know, we hit that at the top of the show as well about the, the, the talking to LeBron. It's nuts that these two guys who absolutely definitely have each other's cell phone numbers would choose in public on the floor of Staples to cover their mouth and say, hey, you going to come here to Los Angeles <laughs> this is July 1? Like that conversation, if it's had... Is had elsewhere. I don't know what they're talking about. I think what they're actually doing is is they're, they're pulling up the, the the thing and they're going, "Hey, if we both do this, people are going to yeah, they're they're all gonna wonder what yeah. we're talking and about." They're laughing about it. Yeah. But uh, the other those that was one item from last night. Another one was Steph Curry behind the back, <laughs> no look, full court pass to Durant, wide open for a bucket. Good luck finding that somewhere else. With yeah. that guy can also shoot threes, and that guy is also an MVP caliber player and human being. Like, good luck with yeah. that. I Coming don't... to the Knicks, even if Kyrie comes, that's still um, not as likely as anywhere else for him to find. Probably not. And and this is the thing. It, it, we have always assumed, Rich, as, as fans of the game, as media who cover the game, that it's always all about winning. Or we, 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 we play into that a lot. We really know better, or we all should know better by now. It's never just about the championships and the winning. It can be about the money, of course. It can be about ego. It can be about branding and your personal brand. It can right. be about business opportunities off the court. It can be about a lot of different things. And just as a lot of people believe that LeBron went to the Lakers for reasons other than championships, other than basketball uh, and winning at the highest level, people believe that if Durant ends up with the Knicks, it has nothing to do with trying to contend because... Why? How could it? The Knicks haven't done anything 
in a very long time, and they have been a model of dysfunction for a very long time. And I, we could get into this, but I also think that sure. if he comes to the Knicks, I, I don't know how, I don't know where they're actually going to be. Uh, we push that one to the side for a second. But the fact is, if he comes to New York, it has to be because of things that are not basketball. Because if it was just about basketball and winning at the highest level, you would stay with the Warriors, or you could play with LeBron with the Lakers, or you could go to the Nets. You could if go you to the Nets or to Clippers. New York. Two teams that are f much further along in their development and have a supporting cast ready there, and both the Clippers and Nets, if they want to, can create a second max slot. Now, you end up losing some of those players who have been playing so well this year, you, but you'd still have a, a, a good core left around you, whereas with the Knicks, there's just nothing there right now. There's some maybe future promise with some young guys, but it, there's nothing you can say... I can definitely win something with that guy. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.